Hello from Kentucky, and welcome to the other Land of Arches. Hi, my name is Steve Martin with the Kentucky Geological Survey, and today I want to talk about natural arches, which are a big part of Kentucky's geoheritage. Kentucky has the most natural arches of the eastern states, with approximately 2,000 natural rock openings. Today, a lot of these uh, arches are discovered and documented by citizen scientists. These natural arches are also exhibited at many parks and uh, nature areas across the state. Currently, I'm at Carter Cave State Park in the northeastern part of the state. This blue region right here is the eastern Kentucky for cold fields, consists mainly of Pennsylvanian age sandstones, but also Mississippian age limestones. As you can see, most of the natural arches occur in this eastern Kentucky cold fields. But they also occur in the western Kentucky cold fields and along the eastern and western pennyroyals, which are Mississippian limestone in age. Behind me is Smoky Bridge. Smoky Bridge has a span of 45 feet and a clearance of 42 feet. Most of the natural arches in Kentucky form in sandstones. However, they also form in limestone. And here at Carter Cave State Park, the limestone openings are impressive. So if you get a chance, come visit Carter Cave State Park. Hello again. I've traveled approximately 75 miles to the southwest from Carter Cave State Park to the Red River Gorge Geological Area. This uh, area is next to Natural Bridge State Park in the Daniel Boone National Forest in East Central Kentucky. So we, uh, we started out here in Northeastern Kentucky and we've traveled uh, to the southwest here in East Central Kentucky. Uh, this area, uh, the Red River Gorge, has the uh, second most greatest cluster of natural rock openings behind the Moab region in Utah. Most of the natural arches in Kentucky form in sandstones. These sandstones are jointed and cross bedded. Um, the arch behind me is called Princess Arch. It's one of my favorite. It's very smooth, majestic. It has a span of uh, 34 feet and has a height or a clearance of 14 feet and uh, uh, is very typical of the natural rock openings that occur in the Red River Gorge. Um, these can also, these, these rock openings form in valleys like we had in the Carter Caves. They can form along a ridge side and they can also form on a ridge top, which is what we have right here. And these ridge top arches are common in the Red River Gorge. Uh, from here, I will be traveling to Western Kentucky, where we will visit a natural arch that is formed along a ridge side. And it happens to be the longest span of any arch in Kentucky and east of the Mississippi River. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I finally made it to Mantle Rock Natural Arch, and I've saved the best for last. Mantle Rock is, has the longest span of any arch in Kentucky and also east of the Mississippi at 165 feet. Uh, we're located here uh, close to the Ohio River in western Kentucky. Uh, Mantle Rock is a, uh, how this form is very common in uh, western Kentucky. And what you need for arch formation throughout the state are parallel joint sets and water. Uh, water seeps and flows through the joints, uh, chemically and physically eroding the rock, creating the opening through differential erosion. You also have headward erosion of a stream valley that undercuts the, that undercuts the rock mass. So you have erosion working from two ways here. Uh, this is a very beautiful and special place. Uh, unfortunately, it's hard to get a good picture of most arches in Kentucky because of uh, the foliage and uh, the way the, uh, the openings are located on the cliff side. But uh, this is what I've got for you today. Uh, this ends our tour. I like to call this tour the uh, Kentucky Arch Trail. Um, in central Kentucky, in the, where they make a lot of bourbon, they have what's called the Bourbon Trail. Well, this is the Kentucky Arch Trail, and you can start at Carter Cave State Park in northeastern part of the state. Travel down to the Red River Gorge like we did. You can even go even further close to the Tennessee border with Kentucky 
in a place called the uh, um, Big South Fork Recreation Area. Plenty of arches there. You continue, can continue westward towards Mammoth Cave. There are plenty of arches around Mammoth Cave National Park, but unfortunately not any trails lead to them. And then you can continue your uh, journey to Mantle Rock and see this beautiful structure behind me. So I uh, hope you visit Kentucky on your next trip and visit some natural arches. Thank you.